we are at uh oh man, I don't know if it was Olive Grove Olive Grove Cemetery in uh, Santa Fe Springs just doing a quick check this is a spot where people like to party so I'm just checking out make sure there's nobody here somebody's bag and everything unfortunately desecrating this man's grave whoa step away Gabby is going to do her EVP session. Um, we'll commence when she's ready. I'm going to turn off the lights and go in night vision mode. Beginning EVP session one, we're here in the Olive Grove Cemetery in the city of Santa Fe Springs. Um, we're here to communicate with whomever is here tonight. We come in peace and we invite you to communicate with us. However, I will tell you ahead of time, you cannot follow us back home. You could touch my hair, you could touch my shoulder, you could touch Danny's shoulder, you could touch his head, any part of his body, but you cannot hurt him and you cannot hurt me. We come in peace and we invite only friendly people and friendly spirits to communicate with us. I know you guys have been here for a very long time. It's so different now. Everything that's around you but I want to ask you some questions. How do you feel about being here? Is there people that still come to visit you? If one of you is here with us now, can you show us a sign? I give you permission to touch my shoulder or my hair. Or to touch something in front of me. If you're here, I would appreciate you if you could make your presence known. Do you like how the world's changed around you after so many years? Or does it still look the same to you? Are you okay with the fact that we're here visiting you and trying to communicate with you? I bought you an offering and I will leave it for you. I notice this is a very small cemetery. Is it expanded underground? Have they built buildings over it? Is that you touching my shoulder? I mean my, my elbow? I feel somebody touching me close to my elbow. Can you touch my shirt? 
on my shoulder area. Or my hair. I'm going to walk a little bit, so I'm going to make some noise. I could feel you touching me on my left shoulder and on my right hand. I'm going to walk forward a little bit more. I'll ask you again, are you okay with us being here? If you're not, let me know. You're walking behind me, I could hear you. And you're touching my left hand. Can I ask you, whoever's here right next to me, what did you die of? Does your family still come to visit you? I'm going to end session now because I feel really intense. So. I'm going to close this communication portal and I'm going to ask you to please stay here. You are not allowed to follow us home. But I want to thank you for, for communicating with us, for touching my hair and touching my shoulder and my arm. But I'm going to close this session now. And we leave in peace and we hope you leave us in peace as well. Thank you. Bye. All right, babe. Uh, how was it in there? Um, it was, when we went in, it was um, pretty peaceful. Um, I went straight to the back for some reason like I just like I was um, pulled towards the back mm -hmm. um, something just pulled me towards the back um, as I started to move forward as I began the first EVP session um, I noticed that the intensity of the energy like thickened um, once I started once I um, established that the energy um, and the spirits were allowed to touch me uh, that's when things got a little intense. Friendly people and friendly spirits to communicate with us. Friendly people and friendly spirits to communicate with us. We come in peace. And we invite only friendly people and friendly spirits to communicate with us.
up, that's when things got a little intense. As I moved upward towards the cemetery, it got more intense and more intense. I felt that then the beginning there might have been some floating energy and it just intensified. I'm not sure if it was a spirit or what, but it was it, like it multiplied. I don't want to say, oh, it was more than one spirit because mm. I'm not sure. I just felt whatever I felt in the beginning multiplied times like 10. So, you know, when I walked up to the middle of the cemetery, I just felt really encroached. Like I felt energy on top of me, energy to my sides, energy everywhere, just like full of curiosity and just basically like, I don't want to get too weird, but like feeling me up, like mm. just like if it started feeling weird. Okay. So that's when I felt that I needed to stop the session and move out of there. Okay, so um, what do you have to say about it being surrounded by, by nothing but industrial buildings? Um, as far as it being surrounded by industrial buildings, I do think that the energy that resides there appreciates the fact that it's still remembered, but I think there's some confusion as far as to, you know, as to them understanding where they're at. Um, I think that they still think that they're you know, in the when was this? When was this area established? In the some whatever 1700s, 1800s. I think that they still think that they're in that era. So there's a lot of confusion because they're just like, who, like they don't even realize who we are. They're to to them, we're just like these things that are like, you know, we're still alive, obviously. So I think they see us as like bright lights just walking in there. Mm -hmm. um, they don't. They think that they're still in their time. So there's some confusion. They're probably like, why are these? Why are they asking these questions? Why yeah. they, you know what's going on? So, um, so um, yeah. What a, what about uh, what do you think? I mean, this uh, you know, if I was working around here and I was just a blue collar gentleman, just you know, got out of work and want to party, and it's easy to get to that cemetery next door just to party. What do you think about that? Like, I mean, just in general. As far as I'm going in, and people going in there to party. Yeah. Um. I think they appreciate people going in there. Really? Yeah. I oh, actually I think they like it. Okay. They, um, there was a lot of, I felt like a lot of curiosity. There, I didn't really feel anything negative. Okay. Like I said, what I felt was, it was weird because I felt like I was being encroached by a lot of energy, but that's just because they're, they're curious. And I do think that they enjoy people going in there. Nice. All right. Finally, uh, I'm going to just go the real way. You can't really see it, but this building right here has food dogs. Uh, it's not. It can't be any coincidence. That it's a. It's a oriental business, mm -hmm. from the looks of it. Yes. Um, and the food dogs are protectors. Mm -hmm. You think it's that they're directly connected to the cemetery, which is right there? Um, uh, I think that those are, uh, those are there because of the cemetery. Yeah. Obviously, the owners of um this um business uh -huh. um think it might give some bad juju to be next to yeah. a cemetery. So, you know, um, it's different dogmas obviously yeah um, we're talking eastern ideology versus western ideology so they're kind of like oh no we got to protect our you know like mm -hmm. our our space our and you know like our energy so i that's why i think they're there that's awesome yeah. all right well it was uh did you have fun i did i mean it's always a pleasure um and it's always delightful to come in contact and to feel the different energy that's you know in in um certain places like this especially in a place like this where mm. it's just in the middle of somewhere where you would never yeah, expect it to I be would have never thought, yeah. um so they're they're fairly no, no i wouldn't say fairly i think they're extremely curious yeah and they like when people go visit and um i'm very happy that it's kept and you could tell people come and take care of it um, we, well, actually, if it looked unkept, but it looks like somebody comes occasionally. Yeah, well, I mean, okay. they don't. It, it's not like extremely kept, but they do something to like not make yeah. allow it to look horrible yeah. because they, you could tell they still kind of clean the graves yeah. and stuff. Um, that's a you know they appreciate that and they do okay. appreciate visitors. So, I I feel I feel good. All right, well, we're gonna call it a night for this one, and it was fun. Peace. Okay. Where you I want? Okay. Here, you leave it. Where do I leave it? Oh.
um, leave it on one of the breaks.